A taste of Germany in Staten Island? Don't be too surprised, for at one time, Staten Island had one of the largest German immigrant populations in all of America. Little of that era remains today, except for Kilmeyer's, a wonderful German-American restaurant. Like most anything in New York, over the decades, Kilmeyer's has gone through a number of changes. Luckily for us, it is back to being an authentic German restaurant. And for locals, it has always been, first and foremost, a family place. The food and the music, and it's delicious, best in town. <laughs> Upon entering, one is immediately surrounded by the trappings of an authentic Bavarian eatery. The main dining rooms are filled with German decorations, and of course, there is mustard on every table. The building's history alone is a long one. Sections of it go back to the 1700s, when this neighborhood was sprawling farmland. The building housed its first business in 1859, when Nicholas Kilmeyer, a Bavarian immigrant, opened a general store and barbershop here. Then, in 1888, his sons Albert and Theodore took the business over, turning it into Kilmeyer's Union Hotel, with a bar and restaurant on the ground floor. The Kilmeyer family owned the tavern until 1945. Next, the Simonsons family stepped in, renaming it Rubes, then later the Century Inn. The place gradually transformed into a popular roadhouse with a thriving music scene. During the 1970s and 80s, many popular area rock bands would perform here, including Twisted Sister. Then in 1995, restaurateur Ken Toredo and his partners bought the place. Today, with help from his wife and daughter, he has turned it back into a proper German restaurant. So we basically came in here and gutted the place, uncovered all of the modern disco trappings, and pretty much kind of brought it back to the way it was in the 19th century. That includes a traditional beer garden in the back. The best saved piece is the Mahogany Bar, built in 1890. So, Rob, you were telling me before that the tap system in here is quite special. That uses no electricity, no refrigeration. Well, the oldest system uses stainless steel coils that come up from the basement where the kegs are. It comes up, coils around through ice, it comes out through the spigot in front. The bar's refrigeration system is a wonder of its own. These refrigerators actually date back before electric refrigeration. Correct. How is that possible? Well, what they would do is, is they would typically put barrels full of beer on the bottom drawers and put um, ice blocks on top. And they would use newspaper or hay or sawdust as an insulation around the barrel to keep it cold. And so today, though, you have it all electrified. It's all HVAC. It's all you're still using it, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Everything's still using it. Retrofitted, it's beautiful. Over the years, the Toretos have acquired German and brewery collectibles. They include several one-of-a-kind items used at the German Pavilion at the 1964 World's Fair. They even have a genuine Oompa band, the Happy Tone, which plays regularly on weekends. But Kilmeyer's is best known for its food. I tell people, don't be afraid of German food. Wiener Schnitzel's veal cutlet. Schnitzel is just pounded breaded cutlet, you know, there's nothing, you know, Jaeger schnitzel's pork cutlet with a mushroom gravy on it. This is not Indiana Jones, no one's going to be giving you monkey brains, you know what I mean? It's basic, hearty, meat and potatoes food. And their beer selection will make any beer lover's head spin. Large selection of German beer alone, about 90 brands of German beer, plus I have Belgian beers, and I have American microbrews, I even have Guinness, you know, I have a little bit of everything. And the best way to describe Kilmeyer's today? It is eclectic. Like today, on a, today's a Sunday. Families, you get the generation. Very, very different vibe the rest of the week. So we get a lot of younger people who come here for the music and the beer. Lunchtime during the week, so we get a lot of blue collar workers, construction workers come in for lunch. We keep coming back because the hospitality is great, the owners are great, and we just 
just have a good time here. And it's just been a mainstay in our family for years. Now, Kilmeyers has live music several times a month, featuring everything from rock, jazz, to even traditional German music. Check out their website for a performance schedule.